I am about to go eat at the world famous Din Tai Fung restaurant, famous for their soup dumplings. Hello friends, family, total strangers. Uh, today's episode is just a review of Den Tai Fung, which is a Michelin star rated restaurant. There are several branches. This one is the one at the base of Taipei 101. And it got its rating for soup dumplings. Zhao uh, Long Bao, I'm pronouncing that horribly. Zhao, Zhao Long Bao. Um, and they're awesome. It's, it was really, really good and definitely worth, worth coming to get here right when it opens. Otherwise, you're, you're gonna get frustrated and just leave. Uh, yeah, get here early. So yeah, I've been a little salty about this place, but uh, <laughs> I decided to give it another chance. Because it was the line getting in was so long last time it was ridiculous, and it was just such a it was insane. <laughs> so this time I showed up right at opening, which was a, a great call. It took about ten minutes. Uh, so the way it works is you go through a line to get a number. So you sit in line to get a number and then you get your number and a, a menu, almost like a sushi menu that you fill out of what you're going to want. And then you wait until your number is called and they come and take your menu in the meantime. And so once your number is called, you go, you go in, they bring you what you ordered, you eat and you get out. <laughs> so uh, yeah, it's, it's, it's pretty turn and burn. So, yeah, basically you can pay 600 Taiwan dollars and ride to the, take a 37 second ride to the top of the tower, look around for 10 minutes and come back down. Or you can spend that same 600 eating at Din Tai Fun, a world famous Michelin star rated restaurant. Uh, I will take option two. a little guide on how to eat the uh, soup dumplings. This is the pork, Cher Long Bao. There is soup as well as uh, pork filling in here. So you puncture it to let the soup into the spoon and then you eat it together. So all that, all that soup juice was in the, in the dumpling. So you're supposed to dip it in the sauce, put it on your spoon, Put some of the ginger on. Puncture and one bite. That was the standard pork. This is the crab roe and pork. These are noodles with mustard greens and shredded pork. So, yeah, I was thinking I could just get soup dumplings somewhere else. But all said and done, this is a Michelin starred restaurant. <laughs> And you can definitely eat here in the $10 range. I went more for the $20 range. And to eat at a Michelin star restaurant for that is ridiculous. And, you know, as long as you plan it out and get here right when it opens. I waited 10 minutes, but in that 10 minutes, I was deciding what I was going to order. So it wasn't even really like waiting. Um, and it was, it was awesome. Like the soup dumplings were amazing. Uh, if I had it to do over again, I would definitely get the, I would definitely just get soup dumplings. I would not bother with noodles or a beer. I would, re you know, I can get noodles and rice and a beer and other things at other places for a fraction of the price. This is really all about the soup dumplings. So when you come, I would suggest just getting the soup dumplings. Uh, the pork were amazing. 
the crab roe and pork were pretty good, uh, but I, I did prefer just the straight up pork, pork dumplings. Um, and there, I wish I had tried one or two of the other flavors. So um, instead of getting a beer and instead of getting uh, noodles, which the noodles were fine, but they weren't anything special and the soup dumplings were. So yeah, get the soup dumplings. Get as many of the soup dumplings as you can. <laughs> so this is a, a fairly expensive restaurant by um, Taipei uh, standards, but it's still less than you would pay for a burger at an airport. <laughs> So normally I'm super cynical about these restaurants that you have to wait in line forever to get into because, you know, odds are there's like 20 other different restaurants that are just as good that just don't have the popular rep yet. But um, all said and done, that's not really the case with, for, for soup dumplings here in Taipei. Like there's not a lot of other great options and they are amazing here. So I think it's worth waiting in line just uh, just make sure you minimize <laughs> how long that line is by getting early or probably coming late would, would do the same thing. So yeah, that's, that's my video. Uh, thanks for watching. Uh, please like, subscribe, comment, all that fun stuff. Thanks a bunch.